Many of the assets were funneled into a new company, the Urban Finance Corporation. It's at this point that things start getting extremely murky. Many of the Carroll companies were renamed whilst new dummy companies were set up but using the original name. For example, Ely Property became Winskirk while Winskirk re-emerged as Ely Property. Gerald Carroll can identify the fraudsters who he believes have robbed him of almost everything he possessed. He's sent those names to the police and he's given the serious fraud office boxes and boxes of what he calls incontrovertible evidence.